So I, uh, I have a background in acting. I mean, I went to school for it, went to NYU, and have a degree in acting. And, and uh, very few people, I think, set out to like, I'm going to go be a voice actor. Maybe you, because you're sort of a legacy. But um, uh, I used to work with your dad. You, know? you did? Yeah. I didn't know that. Back when I first started at Central Park Media. So I was, at, I, after I graduated at NYU, I was sick of actors and acting, and I was playing with bands a lot, having some success with that. And that sort of became my focus. So uh, after a while, you know, played out a bunch and, you know, made some albums and toured a little bit. And then uh, the band split up, and I needed to get a job. And eventually, I ended up getting a job at this place called Central Park Media, which was an anime distributor uh, based in New York City. Uh, and this was 15 years ago, it was 2000, beginning of the year 2000. And I would start out as a producer. And, you know, I quickly started directing also. And then, uh, you know, it was sort of a conflict of interest if I was going to be in stuff too. So I stuck more to the producing and directing. But then once I knew I was going to sort of part ways with the company and become independent, found my own company, then I started getting parts and acting and stuff. And being that I had hooked up all these studios in New York City with work for years, I got auditions from everybody, and I immediately got snatched up by four kids and started directing stuff for TV, like Saturday morning stuff that they had. Uh, I think the first thing I did from was Mew Mew Power. I did Magical Do Re Mi. I directed a little G.I. Joe. Um, and I started getting parts on all that stuff. And then since then, I've been doing that all the time. You know, uh, I, I've been directing Pokemon for the last eight years years almost um, you know so it's been it's been fun but I you know I kind of backed into this business and when I was just saying and Bryce could tell you more Bryce's dad uh, was a voice actor and back when I started at CPM we used to work with Bang Zoom oh, and gotcha. you know I remember seeing his name on the credits and stuff so I never met any of those uh, Bang Zoom actors but you know I would cast those guys and produce those things that you know Eric uh, would direct and whatnot. Gotcha, sure. so, gotcha. That's, so that's cool. Go. Small world. Yeah, seriously. Small sure. world. Um, yeah, my dad was a voice actor. Um, I was about eight years old. Um, he was working on Power Rangers. He was Rito Revolto, the skeleton dude on <laughs> Power Rangers. Um, yeah, he had the exact opposite voice of me. He's like deep and he played a bunch of monsters and big guys and stuff. Um, so I, I was at work with him, they had all the rubber suits, so I used to love to go in and just watch. And at the end of his session, uh, the director was like, hey, we need a kid's voice for a little bit. And my dad's like, he's a kid, throw him in the booth! And that's how I started. <laughs> wow. um, so everyone gets into the industry differently. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Um, but it's you know taken a lot of work since then to, to move forward and, and book ro the roles that I have and um, get to where I am now.